Hi everyone, Mike Leva here from the Epson Mobario team. Today I'm really excited to announce and unveil our latest product in the Mobario family, the Mobario BT35E. But first, I want to give you an idea of how we got there. Back in 2016, we launched our Generation 3 platform, the Mobario BT300. This represented a huge improvement over our Gen 2 platform for a couple reasons. One, it was the first product we launched that had our new silicon OLED based displays. It also was much lighter weight and it included a newer chipset than the predecessor. But as we began to roll it out and had a lot of success in places like the drone market, we heard feedback from the enterprise and commercial market. And specifically, they asked for a design that was more durable and robust. So we launched the BT350. This product had a more durable outer shell, which gives it an IPX2 rating. It also has a new hinge design system with the headset. This allows it to fit a wider variety of head sizes because there might be multiple users wearing the product. And then finally, it has a new ANSI safety shield. This meets safety uh, glass requirements for those commercial or enterprise users who have that need. One thing to note is that all Moverio products to date have been Android based, meaning we have this controller with a chipset, a battery, it runs the Android operating system, and people develop applications for it. But over our history, we've had a lot of requests for a direct video input model, something that's simply plug and play. And that's what I'm excited to show you. With the BT35E, we have, for the first time, a simple, easy interface unit. What it allows is that a user can take their phone, tablet, laptop, whatever device, plug it in via HDMI or USB Type-C, and now all I do is connect my headset, and the output of that device is mirrored on this display. We think that's really cool, but for those who are not interested in simply just mirroring a phone or a tablet, for example, we're developing a custom software development kit with support for both Windows and for Android. This will allow developers to take the camera data or the sensor data and leverage that when developing their own application. Check out the link below if you're interested in developer resources or if you just want more information about the product. And really, please engage with us in the comments, leave some feedback, leave some ideas of use cases for this product we think there's a lot of potential and we look forward to partnering with you to get there. Thank you.